Hey, don't lie, donkey. All right. Hey, hey. Toast. Hey. Two. Two. Live. Hey. <laughs> that was so good. That was, that was actually good. really good. <laughs> Trágame tierra. <laughs> yes, come on, man, China, por favor. Damn, Daniel, Jesus we've Christ. done it again. I'm back at again with the white air forces and the boots. And the boots. And the boots. Somebody yeah, told me my white boots, boots. Like, like carnicero boots. <laughs> Wait, 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 I wait, swear wait. to God, what I said. What do carnicero boots look like? I know. Why? You know, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Like the white rubber boots that they wear. You've never gone to a carniceria? And I've never looked at his shoes. Now you're going to look. Now no, everybody's no. going to look no, at the carnicero When we go boots. to the carnicero, carniceria, compa Chuy, me da dos libras, por favor. Sí, quiero chicharrón. Sí, güey. Sí, con el gordito. Sí, algo el, bien. Mejor no digo nada. <laughs> <De cafeadita. laughs> Anyways, we're back. We're back, we're back you guys. Yeah. The Toast to Life podcast. Let's go. Let's go. Another week. Another great week. Because yeah. even though some days are hard, we got we got to be alive. <laughs> we got to wake up, baby. You know some what? days are hard. Look, I don't know if you guys from the camera can see this, but there's a lot of animosity within the group right now because <laughs> Jack Jack said, who are we to think we can do the campaign and an episode all in one day within one, a couple hours? One thing about us is like we played ourselves because we thought we were going to be timely. Check it out. And the cheese I was just so better. good. I should I should have known better. That's you played yourself. You I thought it was going to happen. You played yourself. But you know what? You it, thought she was going to text you back. You played yourself. Oh, we're not talking about just potty water. You thought anymore. he was you were his only girl? You played yourself. Stay up, Kings. Stop playing yourself. That's <laughs> it. That's what I'm like, just just stop playing yourself. Play them so they don't play you. Hey, reverse Uno. <laughs> <laughs> Card ready to play. Card. No, man. I think <laughs> We started off, ooh. Spicy. Wait, can you bless us with your vocals? Oh, my God. I sing for them like two <laughs> seconds, and now they want me to sing. But I told you guys, you guys should do my backup. Okay, ready? I'm down. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> That's <laughs> what we're dog, dog. <laughs> You know what? I'll bless you with my vocals. I'm, I'm not a singer, though. You don't want me to sing for you. Porque se van a enamorar. Sí, se van a enamorar y ya, si ya, ya valió sí, la cosa. Sí, si ya te quiere, sí, ya nos quiere. Sí, First no. I was afraid. I was, I was petrified. petrified. And thinking I could never live without you by my side. By my side. But then I spent so many nights. <laughs> many nights. Thinking how you did me wrong. You did me wrong. I don't know the rest of the song. But that's it, you guys. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, photo rest. Premium um, content, baby. That's look, insane. I, I want every, everybody that's listening, whether it's on Apple, Spotify, or YouTube, please, please, what song do you listen to word for word and can sing it at the top of your lungs that people would never, ever imagine you would be able to sing it? Like, if your life depended on it, like, you got kidnapped, you got thrown in a truck, and they said, sing a song word for word, or die. Yeah. But something that no one will ever even, like, man, I never imagined you can sing that song. Or you knew that song. What was your song? Mine is Stay by Rihanna. Mine is the ABC song. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. That's he a played that's too a, much. That's a certified capper. Song. He played That's too a certified much. capper. What song? I don't have one. But you know what? Hello by Adele. <laughs> Hello. Word for word. Really? That's, it's that's how you feel. That's how I feel. Dang. What about yours? Um, well, apparently you weren't shocked when I said I could recite too short. Nah, I mean. All right, go for it. That too. No. Need, go for it. First 30 for seconds. Next, for 30 no, seconds. Ready? I, I, okay, no, no, don't put me like that. Three. No, 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 no. Two. Your life depends no, no, on it. No, no, One. No, no. I go on and on. Can't understand how I last so long. I must I have, have superpowers. Power, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wild and, wild. From the wild Bay to L.A. This is why we're not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. No, this is why we're not, not surprised. No. <laughs> oh my no. god! All right, all right, guys. Let's let's get serious. We had some oh, hot serious. and heavy talk get oh, last we, time. We have some heavy. We have a we have a we have needed conversations to happen. Yeah. It's it's like it's burning right now. It's, yeah, is it? It's a flame. If it burns, get it checked out. <laughs> Just saying. That one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all too. <laughs> You know, he's not wrong. He's not, he's not wrong. Burns, Honestly, health is wealth. And <laughs> I can't oh. stand them. Damn, it'd be too funny. Sometimes we play too much. Okay. Uh, did, we, did we get all of them out? Is that it? 
It's all y'all. It's just getting um, started. What's up? Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a good laugh before we get into the need and greedy. To the needy and greedy. I'm just trying to avoid that. Yeah. Sorry right there. <laughs> no, me, no, no, no. We're go going to dive jokes. straight in. Because the word, the game that we were playing last time was actually really fun. Yes. So we're going to do it one more time again. And we're just going to keep things flowing. Fun, huh? Vibing. Please answer the questions as we go on your own. Give Comment it. it down below if you can. If you're, <laughs> if you're ready to share it with other people. Which highly encourage because there's other people that may be going through a similar situation or have gone through a similar situation. So it's always great to know that you're never alone in a journey. So absolutely. It helps because we only have one lady in the room. Ladies first. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to do never this. Never mind. We don't care about this. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this one. All right. Oh. What has been your biggest heartbreak? What has been your biggest heartbreak? Why you guys gotta, go. Why? I I picked the question, so you guys go first. Why do we gotta talk about? I that? don't have a heart. I mm. don't break. You can't break something that Shut was never up. there. Break a heart. You don't have a heart. Shut up. You can never break something that was never there. Exactly. You guys act so. I know Dusko over here. I know he Dusko's knew immediately. I'm, not, I'm, I'm a. I'm a. Has Jose? Shout out to Jose. As he said, I'm a hopeless romantic. I love love, yeah. but a veces las cosas no funcionan, and I think that's where it's like, si pudiera funcionar, if it were able to work, you know? Los casi algos? Los casi algos. Los casi oh, algos. So you know what's so funny as I was reflecting after we had that little topic about Amores Fugaces, because yeah. I feel like it really started up a conversation. Oh, it did. Sparked it up. And I think it's safe to say que los casi algos duelen más que una relación. A veces. Mm. Because you always end up with, like, you never know. It's the what if. Yeah. It's the what if we could have been. It's like, uh, what is it in Spanish? Amores platonicos. Mm. Is that what it is? A platonic love, right? Yeah, it's no searching for a, that perfect person and wishing for that perfect person damn well knowing it's never coming or it's not going to happen. So what makes you think it's not going to happen? Or why wouldn't it happen? Because if it... If it was supposed to happen, it should have already. Because so, I, I believe you, you run into people in your life where you're like, this, yo, this is perfect. This is for me. He or she is for me. This is like, I see this for the rest of my life working. But for one reason or another, <laughs> it just doesn't work. And you've tried everything possible. Sometimes you try to make exactly. excuses and it's like, oh, it's the time. It's the place. Or maybe it's just our lives that are not aligning. But it's just... You know, and you wish that shit would work, but at the same, but at the end of the day, it's just it's never, it's never done it, or it's never worked. So, go for it. No, I was just saying it's true. It's, it's so fun in the moment, pero cuando se acaba, ay como duele. Mm. Ay, you're como more, duele. You're mourning a love that never actually happened, but you wish it did happen. Pero por algo no se dio. Por algo. Por algo no se dio. Yeah. How do you feel, Pepe? I don't care for love. Really? I really don't, honestly. Really, really? Like, really? Really, really I don't care for it. I, like, I chile. whatever about it. I chile, I don't care for it. Like, it sounds messed up, right? But I could care less. You think it's just like, it's just a sum of everything that has happened? Yeah, I think it's just <laughs> life's just... happening and all the, maybe all the what ifs, right? Right. The things that didn't happen for one reason or another that I'm just like, all right, well, if they didn't happen, like, maybe they're not meant to happen, you know? Yeah. It's like, why am I going to keep investing time and effort and like all these things when at the end of the day all the efforts and everything i've done hasn't worked out even if one it's one way or another yeah even if it's been like a while yeah it's been a while but you still, still it's like i'm the, still I, like whatever i'm whatever about it like si pasa pasa i'm yeah. not looking for it though that's the thing you know? right i feel like it's for for us it's like i hope all this love that i'm giving you makes this work but I would hope I get that same love back. And when you don't get it back or that person leaves you, you're still, you're back to the same position. So it's like, you're back if, at zero. if I've done it over and over <laughs> again and I've tried everything possible with these people that I've, or per person that I have invested into, but yet I'm still stuck in the same outcome. Why do I still do it? Exactly. Why am I going to try? Yeah. Why, why should I, I get my hopes up? Why should I get my hopes up? You can't be living like that, like day to day, like, and being so cold hearted. Porque what's the point about living then? It's like, El sentido de vivir es como sentir las emociones. Like, yes, maybe everybody that you're not going to, that you meet is not going to be with you. But like, 
that's the point of life. Like, feel the emotions. Like, don't, like, I just think I'm like, hoy in dia, the yeah. dating world is like crazy, obviously. Oh, sure. I think it's like a, I'm not afraid to love because I love love. What I'm afraid of is a position I'll be in if that person leaves me. But life's a risk. Like, okay, it's a risk. Life's a risk. It's no life's a risk. Mess. No, but in a sense that I'm saying, what I'm saying is like, life's a risk, carnal. But it's true. Like, si nunca, el, ¿cómo va la canción? En el amor y en el... Di <laughs> okay, apparently we didn't get all the giggles out. <laughs> You had to do that. Matos locos forever. I didn't even think of that, but <laughs> she quoted she quoted an no, iconic movie for sure. And one of his favorite movies. But what I was saying <laughs> is is that like la vida se trata de muchas cosas y es muy bonita. So some of it's good and some of it's bad. And all I'm okay. saying is like a lot of times I feel like people are afraid to fall in love because what if? But you never know until you try. Okay, but I will say this and I'm very transparent. I think Pepe knows and for everybody listening, I think we understand this. We know the type of people we are. Mm -hmm. We know how, how big our heart is. We know what the type of love that we give. What no one understands or no one sees is a deep hole that we fall into when we no longer have that person in our life. Like, yeah, I'm smiling and I'm, I'm moving around. I'm going my day by day. But deep inside, I'm like, bro, like I just lost a part of me that I, I always wanted and I knew I wanted and I had it for the moment and I left. Now I got to mourn that loss. It's not physically dead. It's still alive. Mm -hmm. It's just dead inside me that, man, if I see you, I don't know how to react because I want to hug you. I want to kiss you. I want to tell you I miss you. But our, our, we won't align. So why, why am I willing to do that over and over again when there's people that when they break up or when they're, they stop their talking stage, it could last maybe a week, two weeks. And obviously, ah, it is what it is, right? Yeah. But then there's some that, man, it take them a whole month, two months, three months just to, oh, man, I can't take people serious because look how, look how I treated this person <laughs> top of the throne just to what? To get right back to the same position alone and heartbroken? Now I'll save it. Me quedo solito. <clears throat> some are, so for some, it's easier than others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I for understand, sure. but I do feel like in la vida in general, like you can't just you ha like you have to feel the emotions that come with it, good, bad, whatever it is, because that's just part of life. Like, I want I want love, but I want to be able to love myself. I want to be able to be happy first. Yes. As I want someone along along my with me along my life, and you know they're gonna bring me joy too, but. You have to be happy first, right? Yeah. We've said it before. Yes. Right? 1, if you put your happiness in somebody else, what happens when that person's gone? Yeah. Your happiness is gone too? Yeah. yeah. No. So I feel like, like you said, it's always better to be happy and in a good mental space before yeah. getting into any type of relationship. 1, yeah, joy, I'm joyful with that person, but now that person's not here, now what am I? Well, the other person has to be aligned. Exactly. You gotta be in the same so, page. And it's hard now, though. Yeah, like, well, that's the thing. Somebody yeah. with the same mindset as you. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Difficult. And then you said it perfectly the last podcast. See, si Dios lo quiere, he's going to put it for me. He's going he's gonna to give it to me. I'm going to put it in my work, obviously. But if it's for me, then God will put it in my, in my path. And if it's not, then he's going to take it away. And I got to understand, as much as it, sometimes it hurts, you know, sometimes the hardest lesson is for you to grow even more. So... All right. Try. Right. That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Hey, you know, vato loco forever. Like a risk, carnal. Stand these dudes. All right. What makes you feel grateful for the way you were raised? Oh. Mm. Taking them back to the family roots. Yes. But I feel like you got some cooking. It's still cooking. It's still cooking. <laughs> Keep it on low temperature. Para que no se queme. You, low know temperature. What? you know what? I might say something that might start a riot. See, that's what I don't want to do. But you know what? It's my opinion, and it is what I think. Nobody else has to agree with me if they don't that's, feel that way. But I am thankful that, like, my mom was kind of strict with me. Like, mm -hmm. she really was when we were growing up. Like, I remember thinking, like, I couldn't do anything. But now, I think god that i had some rules and like regulations and like yeah. que si me ponían mis, yeah. mis buenas regañadas because like had i not had that yeah oh I'm, my god i would have i don't know i'm grateful my parents cared yeah 
cared about my well-being, my grades, yeah, who I was around with, even if they were straight, then kind of like, well, if that person is being able to do all this and you're over here keeping me now where I'm at, I'm like, gracias. You're thankful. Thankful. Like, for people to understand, those people in high school, it's sometimes the coolest the coolest kid in school isn't, isn't going to amount to anything. Unfortunately, for, like, we idolize these people that have all the attention in the world. Just And just because we're not known or having that attention, we feel like, man, I'm a nobody. But as you grow and you grow up and you have those, you have that foundation set, look at what you become and who you become. Look how life changes for you. I met some amazing people during my high school days where they weren't the coolest kid in school. But where are they? Man, they're, they're living life. You know, have a great job, great career, great family, great cars experiences that they do and i'm like who would have known and some of those cool people that were idolized and looked up to and feared upon unfortunately who are they not in a good position or unfortunately you know rest in peace they're, they're just not here no more but it's just like el camino que los ponen nuestros padres mm. we may not yeah. understand at that moment but later on when we grow up and you know i think a big compliment is like oh man to Tus, tus papás si, si te enseñaron bien, bien educado. Have to. Not once can I, did I ever cuss on my mom. Like, you know how, like, I hear some kids or people, oh, well, they say the F-bomb and the B-bomb with them. And oh I'm like. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. I'm like, if I would have said that, my fucking tooth would have <laughs> fell, fell out. At least. I at wouldn't, least. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be. I, I would have. <laughs> there are some things that I, like, couldn't even imagine saying to my parents. Just because, like, digo, si algo así hubiera sucedido. Yeah. It would have been the end. Out of respect. The end. Yeah. Out of respect to the elders and, and everybody. But I think it, it's a good quote to give respect in order to get respect. But you still have to earn it at the same time. Yeah. Some people don't understand even the first part of it, which is give respect. They just, some people think they can just take it and take it. It's not like that. No. Is it? What uh, did you say? Oh, yeah. yeah. We were talking. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> what am I grateful for? What was the question again? What, uh, did, what makes you feel grateful for the way yeah. you were raised? Just my parents teaching me hard work ethic. Mm. I think growing up around that um, just taught me that, hey, you're capable of everything. And no matter what, it's like, get to work. Yeah. I mean, growing up, obviously, there were times where I was like, damn, why don't I have it all? Like, life would be so much easier if I had just been born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Yeah. Right. Like, how much easier would life have been? Mm -hmm. And if it had, I mean, maybe life would have been easier. Maybe life would have sure. been better. However, I wouldn't know what hard work is. Yeah, We, didn't, we wouldn't know the value of a dollar. It's okay, because I'd have a million. But, <laughs> but I wouldn't know how to work. Yeah, You know, I wouldn't yeah. know what it takes and I think to build we, myself up. We so don't, I'm grateful for that. We're, we don't take what we have for granted. Exactly. No. If, we, if, we, if we had a carro del año, cool. And if we had $2 in a bank, man, I have it. And apart that you learn how to take care of things. Like yeah. you work so hard that you're like, I'm not, you know what's good yeah. and you know what's not. And yeah. you know what, how to value. Now having a little bit of pocket, uh, change in my pocket. Now like she's like, ah, está bien, we'll replace it. Before it's like, no, 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 sí. no. It's like, no, sí, no sí. lo toques, no lo toques. Yeah. It's like this money's for this and that's yeah. it. Exactly. Nothing else. Exactly. Now it's like, well, yeah. live run a little. It. It's just, run, it. It's, run it. It's how you said, <laughs> the mindset. We, or how you said, like the mindset of, we know what the value of a dollar is. But because of how we were raised and what we know, we know this is not this is not the end. We can do more and, and have more, but we have to be willing to put in that work. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I was saying like earlier off camera. Where it's like a lot of people want this dream and the dream to come true, but if you realize and you knew it firsthand what you needed to sacrifice in order to have what you have right now, would you still want it, or would you say, Nah, never mind, I don't want it no more? Because a lot of people would say. I'm good. I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need it that bad. Because you have to sacrifice your oh, s your yeah. sleep, your family, your relationships, yourself. If all that you had to sacrifice in order to be here where you're at right now, are, do, are you still willing to do it? Yeah, it's not easy. Or are you going to pass it on? And it's just like, if I could go back and find you everything that happened, yeah, or probably, you know what, maybe, maybe not. But it's life. We learn it as we go. And it's like, oh, you know what, I did this wrong. And now mm -hmm. I'm able to pass down my knowledge to other people. Hey, brother, I see what you're doing. I see where you're going. Protect this. Protect this and, and do not let it go. So that's why it's like, yeah, like our parents, they, they sacrificed so much. And unfortunately, we were, 
we were just bystanders through that pain, and we got hurt along the way. We were collateral, collateral damage with them. They didn't understand that. They didn't know. They just said, ah, if, they'll understand when they get older. But realizing that that causes so much damage growing up, that that shit fucking sucked. I miss having my parents around, my dad around. I miss having that united family. I miss being healthy. So when I seen parents and families have it now, and I'm like, wow. So that what it was like. And now when I have an opportunity, and I yet can't have that still, I'm like, man. That was that's that's what it was. Now understanding, like, damn, my my dad did all this for I can have an opportunity. I resented you and I hated you along the way, but now I can tell you thank you and I love you. Would I do it again? <laughs> Probably not, bro. I want it differently. <laughs> but you know, I, I you know that's why I'm like, you know, be nice to your parents and be very forgiving. Be forgiving. It's their first time at life too. And they didn't know any better coming into a new country. And not knowing the opportunities that were, that were possible. And, you know, I think our parents are not good at apologizing. And I don't think they ever will be. But unless we break that ourselves and we apologize. Or at least say, hey, I forgive you. Cause it, it, it sucks, dog. And I get emotional about this because like, I, I lived that with my own dad. You know, and I, didn't, I didn't see my dad growing up a lot because he had to work. He was building his business of so pest control. And yeah, I work for him now, and it's great. I love it. But there was one time we had had a soccer tournament in Bakersfield. He literally drove me to Bakersfield, dropped us off, and drove all the way back. And but since he never had that relationship with his his dad either, my dad only knew work, and ah, uh, he'll be all right. So even when I played local, he would drop me off, go, and he wouldn't stay for your games. He wouldn't stay. I think he went to. I I can count them on the top of my hands how many games of high school he went. And I played all four years. You know, it's just, you never knew any better. Mm -hmm. And I forgive you. Like, it's, like, it's okay. But I see him, I see him be that with my kids and my nieces. So he wasn't that with us because he didn't know. But now, I feel like as a, as a grandparent, they tried to like. Your second chance. Your second like chance. My dad has said that. He's like, I, was, I wasn't the greatest dad. But, like, I don't have my own kids. But with Ellie's kids. He'll be like, this is my second chance at doing things right. Yeah. Like, I didn't tell you guys I loved you. I didn't spend time with you guys. <laughs> but here I am spending with your with your kids. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And it's at the same time, it's like, it kind of sucks. Like, obviously, it's beautiful to see it. But it's like, dude, like, you see it. And, like, a part of you is like, damn. Like, I wish you would have been that way with me. Yeah. You and know? how different things would have been. If yeah, with a relationship had, well, that we yeah, have now, because yeah. I don't have a relationship with me personally. I don't have a relationship with my dad. Yeah, like I see him every single day. Yeah. I don't care to talk to him. Like there's times where I try, but you know, old school parents. Yeah, like yeah. they don't care, or like so, they don't show emotion, yeah. or they don't try to talk. Is this a routine? Or you try to yeah. talk and they cut you off. Yeah, because it's like your your problems are not the problems that they went through, so they're not. Yeah, they problems. have bigger problems. They have bigger yeah. problems. They went through it harder. Exactly. They ellos batallaron más. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's one of those things where it's like, eh, I mean, you're cool. Like I try, but like, how many times can you try? I mean, there comes a point where you try, 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 and then if they're not reciprocating, whether it be your own parents or yeah. whether it be somebody else, like you put your best foot forward in, and you can say, I did my part. Now it's up to you whether you want to take the baton and yeah. keep it running. But, um, yeah, same. I mean, similar thing. Like, I don't have much of a relationship with my dad either, but he was kind of out of the picture yeah. for a big part of my childhood. And, you know, you know, we try to work things out. But, like, if the other person doesn't want to pick up what you're throwing down, I mean, there's really not, there's yeah. really, really not much that we can do. You can only, you can only do so much. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It, it goes back to, like, that relationship. Is it 50-50? No, it's 100 and 100, but if the other person is not willing to put in their part, I mean, you're overworking yourself, and then that's where you end up in decepcionado. You get disappointed because that person cannot show up in the way you want them to and expect them to, and when they don't, 
what happens? You're hurt. You're let down. Mm-hmm. And Whose I think, fault it, is that? but it, I think yeah. it can be a little your, confusing. Oh, sorry. No, go. No, I'm just thinking because, like, right now we're saying, and I think when it comes from your own parents, yeah. like your parents, you expect them to be like your ride or die, yeah. and your first person to go to. You're yeah. the ones that have your back. And when your own parent isn't giving you that kind of response, it's kind of like it's confusing. Yeah, it it, it can get it can get. If you can't even trust your the own people that you should be able to trust. Exactly. Yeah. How can you trust How are you going to trust anybody else? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it, yeah and that, it causes a lot of conflict. And, and I thought about this on the way here. It's like, you know, I, I, I'm i very grateful for my parents, man. Like, being at the at the age I'm at in my life, you know, they've been, they've been my fucking rock, man. Like, I wouldn't even be able to be here if they didn't, like, hey, we got you. It va a estar bien. No te preocupes. We got your back. I'm so grateful that I have loving and caring parents, even at the age that I'm in, because... Man, I, I was trying to, I was leaning on myself until, like, I just had my breaking point. They are like, hey, we got you. And I was like, all right, cool. But then I feel, too, for those people that, when we see in the comments of, I never had a relationship with my mom and dad. You know, I try to talk to them, and, and it's just always toxic, or it's always leading into some sort of fight. And, you know, why do I put myself through that? And why do I want to put my kids through that? It's not just us anymore. Now, if you have kids, now they're the <clears throat> byproduct. Like, they're that, that bystander that just, they're innocent, and then, boom, they're the ones that get hurt. Oh, why haven't I seen this person or this person? I don't know what to tell you, mijo. I don't want to tell you, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I have some amazing parents. Even if we had a rough childhood, I'm so grateful for them because of everything they taught us and how they are with us now. But... I'm so grateful that they're being that for my nieces, for my own kids, because they get to have that relationship with, with their grandparents. They're so excited. It, it's like a, uh, when you're a parent, your kid loves you, but when you get them in trouble, they love their, your grandparents, their grandparents more. And it's like, I, I want that. <laughs> you know, I need that. And, and seeing it, it's like, man, that's amazing. That's dope to see. But, you know, I do feel for those people that either never met their parent. Or have a very toxic relationship with them where they can't even they can't even go over without being having a nice time. Yeah. It's yeah. like you can't it, it's it's hard, right? Yeah. Like you said yeah. your parents were your rock. Yeah. Yeah. It's like me personally, I didn't have a rock. I was a rock that my parents leaned on. Right. Mm. Like growing up, I had to be that person. Yeah. Yeah. And there's times and I've had the conversation with my mom before because her and I talk pretty consistently. I'm like, sometimes I wonder if I would be this way. If I had had you guys be my rocks, not the other way around. Right. Like, would I be the same person that I am today? It's kind of like, like, is this really who I am? Or is this who I am because of how I was raised and what I had to go through and like having to do all these things? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of confusing when you like have to reverse the roles when you have to raise your child, but you're really parents. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Man, Pepe, you got to choose a card, big dog. We just went on the ride. Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) believe what makes you what makes you feel disconnected from someone being on my own head what do you mean elaborate being being there but not being present Mm. because i'm too stuck in my own in my own head and my own thoughts of i gotta focus on a a b and c or man i'm struggling and even though if I'm struggling and, and I'm focused on A, B, and C things, I got, whether it's my parents, my sisters, my kids, or my even my friends in front of me, but I'm here. So I'm there physically, but I'm not present. I think that's what makes me feel disconnected is they, will, they don't understand me because I'm just, I'm in my head over here. Boom. Yeah. And all I had to do was look up. Sometimes you got to just put the phone down and be present. I know we get so sucked into our phones, the internet, being connected, social media, whatever. But I've learned that like sometimes it's okay to just put down the phone and be present and say, what do you need? Like, and listen. Yeah. What what makes you guys feel disconnected out of people? When I can tell that they're not listening. I was going to say that. That's (laughs) just like, if you don't want to listen, that's great. Like. It's hard for, I mean, personally, it's hard for me to open up to people, yeah. right, to begin with. That's so when it's clear that they don't want to listen, it, it's just, it makes me question the relationship to begin with. I'm like, all right, 
why do I care more than you? Or like, do you even care about this friendship, this relationship, whatever it is? Mm -hmm. Why am I so, doing the most? Why am I putting in the effort when it's clearly that it's clear that you you don't care? Like yeah. you can't even yeah. put a phone down. Exactly. And exactly. listen, why am I gonna keep how many putting effort? How many times have you had a conversation with somebody that you're like having a conversation and they're like, uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then they ask you questions that aren't even relevant to what you were talking about yeah. and like, it's just like, like are you listening a lot of people like to listen to the last word yes. that comes out of your mouth and then they'll pick up on that I mean, yeah. I'm like to kind of pretend that they're and you're listening just like, but it's obviously like I fucking saw you on your phone the past five minutes yeah. like, you didn't listen to a single yeah. word that came out of my mouth yeah I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of that shit bro like I think just being kind of it, it's gonna contradict well, kind of what, what we're saying but not what we're saying, but your views. I feel like when you feel like you need to make it and you and you have everything all the weight on your shoulders and everybody counting on you, you can never be too present because if you're too present, you miss out on opportunity or time focusing on what you're doing. Um, like that quote, if you want money, you're going to lose out on time with your family or friends. If you want to spend time with your friends and family, you're going to lose out on money. You got to really pick which one would you rather which one can you sacrifice at that moment in time? At that moment, yeah. Mm -hmm. At that moment in time. It's it's a teeter-totter. One thing is good, one thing gets bad. The other side goes good, the other side goes bad. And it's double-edged sword, however you want to put it. You want to do this one, but esta mala te va a doler, güey. When everybody's, everybody's growing up, everybody's looking at you different, everybody's like, ah, well, that guy's never around or that person's never around. They don't they don't care. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's where it's a double, like, well, I'm putting everybody on my back. I'm putting this high. People are counting on me, but yet I, I get looked at as this. So I, it's the other side to it. Like I think uh, the realization the other day was, you know, my little man started kinder, so he has homework. So he was getting ready to read, and I just got my mm -hmm. phone, and I was going to look at it. And he was like, Daddy, put your phone down. Oh. And I look at him, and he was like, excuse me, you distract me. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Putting you in his, your place. Yeah. Um, but now... I'm on my phone a lot at his soccer games. Mm. And the reason being is because now I get to rewatch those videos and see him do good. See, but wouldn't it be better to just live the just moment? Just live the moment? Not for the world to see. Like, just for you to see personally. For me to see it. Well, yeah, I mean, you're... Yeah, yeah. What better than just experience it firsthand, no? Because for experience it firsthand is always dope, but I want to be able to see it back. So when I have tough days and when I have bad days, I get to see my little man. I get to see my little girl. And I get to relive those memories, you know? Because you don't have it all the time. I don't have it all the time. It's great when you make it to a soccer game. I am. But it's not. I have a house. I don't have a home. And I miss my kids. And I think having that, like, you know, we have a tough day today. And we have it tomorrow once again. And when I'm having a tough day, I need something to hang on to because, <laughs> my God, God damn, I'm, I'm hurting. I'm struggling. So me being able to look back at all the memories that, that we have, I'm like, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I got to keep going. That's why I got to keep fighting. That's why I got to keep on waking up. And when we travel, and, I mean, we've traveled together uh, this year, man, being able, and missing out, I'm like, all right, this is why I'm doing this. And it's so easy for somebody to be like, well, you're not present or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But they don't know the whole story. They don't know how many games you've had to miss, how yeah. many times you haven't been present. Yeah. That it's just so easy to, like, attack. Pe and it's easier said, yeah. easier easier said, said. Than, than done. People, yeah. would, people would judge you off of one thing, but won't see the other 10 exactly. things that you just did about it. Exactly. Like, they don't see that you're sacrificing today's game yeah. for X, Y, and Z. Yeah. yeah. You know? Like, hey, today it's you like, did great. You did amazing. You won ten thousand dollars. You made ten thousand, whatever the case. You did great, but you missed there, and you're a piece of shit because you did that or you missed that. And it's like, man, I just did all this. It. Yeah, just, sometimes you, yeah. that's what they don't see, right? Yeah, yeah. The no, it's people are so put. quick to judge. Yeah. It's like you can say someone's a piece of shit because they're not present. Mm -hmm. Everybody can say it. Yeah. Like you're a piece of shit, dad. But I did it because I needed to make ten k to pay for X, for, Y, and Z. No. It's like I have two kids. I got to pay for a house yeah. for, I don't know, them to come to yeah. a place that they can visit whenever for their school stuff, for their clothes, for their yeah. shoes. Kids are hella expensive. And, and money isn't everything. We it's know not. this. We no, know but this. it's helpful. And that's why you, that's, why <laughs> you, that's your teeter totter. That's the thing. Like, People say money isn't happiness, but then yeah. in but this economy, 
Where it and buys in time. this world that we live in, and it buys you experiences. Yeah, it, it, it moves the, It you moves know? your world. When my son wants a concha, I can buy him a concha. When he wants a <laughs> Hot Wheels, I can two. buy. Why pick between Why vanilla and one? chocolate? Yeah, well, you both. can have both. Like <laughs> hey, like hey, we just made ten thousand. Great. Hey, how about we don't go to work tomorrow and we go th- over here instead? Or hey, you wanted this experience? Hey, come on, let's do it then. Do it. Why yeah. do it? <clears throat> At the end of the day, when I'm gone, I don't take no money. I got to leave everything behind. So if I, why not just do everything now? Let's not save it for later. If you're spoiling your kids, that's good. I can. Yeah. It's up to you if you could do that for your own. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know shit for my for spending money on my nieces and nephews. But hey, if I can spend it, I'm gonna spend it. Absolutely. If I'm working hard for it, why not? I'm not asking for the money. I'm not asking <laughs> for my money what I want. I'm not asking you for permission. That's right. I already bought it for them. <laughs> you want to talk me and your family? Just you want to talk about something? I honestly, Jack Jack, I've been thinking about this. I hate the way you are. I love it. And I hate it. Yo, wow. Talk to me. I love I'll it talk I, because. To me. One, you're you're real, you're very transparent, you're very honest. You keep it a book, you keep it a hundred. <laughs> Eight more than ninety two. I can't be mad at that. And I'm like, she real as hell. But what I hate about it is that you're just nonchalant about things. You're just like, eh, está bien. <laughs> oh, pues ya me chingaron, está bien. Oh, ya me hicieron mal, está bien. No, no pasa nada, oiga. ¿Qué te hizo pensar eso? <laughs> it. Because, like, all the conversation, we're talking about, like, parents, forgiveness, relationships, love, hate. Oh, you're I just kind you're, you're just like, man, oh, no. well, it happens. It's it called ha- life. It's called life. You know what? It's called life. <laughs> it's a lesson. Is that, is that okay? Okay. So because positive. Girls are more forgiving so or guys positive. are more forgiving? Um, I think. Or we're both just as petty. I think, I think. Well, with y'all got with you guys, I'm petty. I, I feel like fifth. girls might be a little more forgiving in this sense. How transparent can I be? I'm very. You're very transparent. I'm petty. I'll be transparent like fucking Casper. <laughs> if you understood it, you understood it. I don't believe in forgiveness. Well, that's a I question. Don't. That's I don't. That's a You're so salty. I am, dude. It's I'm so salty. salty. No matter if it's time like, passes by, you won't forgive him. Or even if I say I'm sorry. Just honestly, it depends on the person. But for the most part, it's hard for me to forgive. It just depends on the situation, right? Like, like brother, I'm sorry for everything I did. Forgive me, please. Like, they're genuine about it. Like, they, they want your forgiveness. I'm going to be honest, because I know this motherfucker. And I know a lot of the people in my life. You can apologize today, but you're still going to do the same shit in, like, a month or two. So, no. Dang. It's what? like, yeah. I'll say I forgive you. Just so you like stop bugging me about it. But, like, <laughs> just so head, you can shut up. I know that it's going to happen again. If you're really sorry, you should you have really, never done it. So you really have no, like, f- compassion in people. Like, no faith. Like, just, you're, like, you're going to go back to your bullshit. No. I don't forgive it. I just let it go. If that makes sense. I don't forgive it because I knew you knew what you were doing. Yeah. We're both, you we're all grown. Oh, we you grown. knew better. Oh, you knew grown. better. And I know you're going to do it again. So it's like, why am I going to forgive you this time? Yeah. Like, maybe one day when I'm wet art and shit, then maybe I'll forgive as I'm dying. But, like, <laughs> at the moment, I'm not going to forgive. Like, I, like I, for, I forgive you for me. Not for you. I don't, however you feel up to <laughs> this, mean, yeah. I don't care. I forgive you because I just don't want to have that hate in my heart. But I won't forget what you did. I don't even feel like. It could be 10 years and be like, oh, what's up, bro? I did it. And you're still gonna be like, I know what mm. you did. Dog. I just let it go for me. I know what mm. you did. It's not, Does it know, make you feel good? Like necessarily forgiving is just like mm. I put no no mind to it. And you're you okay know? with that? Yeah. Just That's don't call me. Don't text me. Up. Don't reach out. It's messed up. I mean, you ain't gonna. You it, messed up. You're gonna waste your time trying to reach out and trying to get a conversation. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Point. No. Well, I like mean, e- even if we run into each other in person, y'all dab you up. Hey, take care. Te respeto. That's it. I like you. Like you. Whatever. Hey, keep it up. Oh, we should hate. Nah, we shouldn't. Nah, we probably That's shouldn't. So we shouldn't. What about you? Do you forgive? I, yeah. I, I forgive, but I don't forget. So. Okay, so. Okay, okay so let me, put, let me put you a scenario. So if you forgive, right, don't you forget? Or well, like. Forgiveness and forgetting, or at least letting things. No, because like you guys hand, say, right? like, let's say somebody did me dirty, whatever. Um, and I see them 10 years later. Okay, here's your scenario. What? I hurt you. I hurt you like never before. Pasaron cinco años. We were, hey, I'm sorry, Jack. I hope we can. I hope we can. We, we can rekindle our relationship, our friendship, and man, we should go out and get some dinner. Okay, in that case, if they did me really dirty, no, no, because like you, I'm like it. You knew exactly what you were doing, 
So there. What was going on? TV. But the thing is, like, I'm not gonna not invest. Too, <laughs> I'm not gonna invest too much energy in in trying to rekindle something that was completely gone. Like it's completely dead. Like if we had a petty argument. And yeah. afterward, like after today, yeah, if like whatever I did, I'm sorry. All right, cool. We're we're good. Yeah. But if I attacked you in a way that you knew only I could hurt you in, and I still went ahead and did it, I have a big problem. No, I. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like if I can never forgive someone that's willing to to put in jeopardy our relationship, our friendship, for either to make someone else happy or put themselves first. If you're willing to do that for our relationship, our friendship, then we should have never done this. We should have never had it. Like I'm, I'm with, I'm about loyalty, respect. Facts. And if you can't even keep that a buck with me at this point of our life, then why Maybe even you be? be a part of it? Yeah. yeah, why be in my circle? And there, there is a phrase, and it's just like sometimes you gotta cut your grass to see all the snakes that's in there. Yeah. Because what it, there was a quote, man, that said. When the devil attacks you, he doesn't attack you as a devil. He attacks you as something that... Appealing. That, uh, as appealing to you. So if you had an enemy and you knew he was going to come and do harmony, you don't, you wouldn't let him in. So what happens? He comes in in a different way. It could be as a friend that's willing to do, do you wrong. Yeah. Bam. You allowed him in because you thought he was a friend. And then what happened? Boom, he did you dirty. So it's you never know how someone of that kind that's ever going to hurt you comes into your life because they come in a way where like, man... <laughs> Yeah, we're good. We're good. We went there, sit at my table. <clears throat> Just to realize the same the same motherfuckers that were at your table were the same motherfuckers that are willing to hurt you. Yeah. And that hurt you. And when it came down to it, they were nowhere to be found. Then what happens? Oh, bro, I'm sorry I wasn't there. Are you? I'm not. No. You showed me what I needed to see. Yes. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. But Remember I'm not like, going to let. Just tell me you're cutting me out. Just, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be like that meme. I'm just going to fade into the bushes. The Bart Simpson meme? I love that one. I mean, yes, I agree with everything that you guys are saying. But I'm also, the reason I'm like a little more nonchalant about things is because like I'm not going to let what one person did affect my relationship with somebody else like if i met somebody who's a certain way you cut you fucked it up yeah it's done but i'm not gonna let somebody else that i meet who maybe wants to treat me a little yeah. differently you know oh, things facts. are different i'm not gonna yeah. hold that against them exactly facts. and yeah. fool me once blame on no how does it go shame, on, shame me. on me fool me twice shame, shame, on, shame, on, shame you. on you fool no, me no, three no. times can't get fooled again. <laughs> I, I don't know. You see, it's something, it's something like that. No, that J. But Cole, baby. J. Cole. He says it. Like, after the first the first time, you're like, okay, you're a little more guarded. But yeah, after the second time, I'm like, you know exactly yeah, what, what I, you did. I think now it's just more of a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little bit to, to go off of. You yeah. know, like, first time meeting, yo, what's up, bro? Everybody said, man, I said, respect, right. though, an opportunity. Mm-hmm. As it goes, there's going to be things that come come our way that's going to, it's going to put it to a test. And I know what's going to happen, and I'm just trying to see it. I hope you prove me wrong, but I've said that since the beginning. I hope I hope it works, but I already expect the worst. Yeah, I can't get disappointed when I already expect it, but I hope for it. Hopefully. Pero si no, está bien, güey. Just hope. And we so move we on. We start all over. Hope. We do okay. Come into my life. I hope this works, man. I really, yeah. I <laughs> pray for it. But if it don't work out. Expect the worst. Expect the worst, you know, and that's where it's like. For the best. Pepe's favorite quote: "You you can never get let down if you had no if you have no expectations. No expectations. You're disappointed if you have no expectations. Yeah. I feel people. I fear and that so people yeah. fear people that like go into things with such high high expectations, and that's where it all just goes downhill. Yeah, you know. I think uh, you meet somebody, so you go somewhere, and your expectations are through the yeah. roof. But it's, it's your fault. Yeah. It's your fault. It's your fault. You set yourself up that way." Yeah, and you expect the best out of people, and when they show you that and you can't, they don't care you as can't. much, it's like meh. Because not everybody's gonna care the way you do, and not everyone's or gonna treat the you. things yeah. that you, you know, want to treat. Whatever. Not everybody has ways. your heart. Yeah, no, no, but not everybody's like you. I think uh, to tie everything that we just talked about in, you know, there is a. I think when I'm having when I'm having when I'm having a bad week, a bad moment, and just a bad just a bad time. I always try to lean on God a little bit more because I'm like, all right, bro, like I'm struggling. 
no me desampares. Don't leave me. I'm still here. Just don't give up on me. And it's so funny when messages just start falling your way. Reminders. Like, hey, listen to this. Read this. Here it is. One of the one of the scriptures, you know, I never done this, but one of the scriptures that just been it's been hitting, it's of John thirteen seven and it says, What I'm doing, you don't you do not understand now, but you will understand later. So when he removes people out of out of your life, when he removes certain uh situations out of your life, certain people, certain opportunities, certain moments you may not understand it at that very, very moment, and you may be asking, dude, why? Why today? Why now? Why out of all times? This person was supposed to be a for-lifer. It is not a for-lifer anymore. Yeah. Why now? We may not understand it at that time, but later when things start aligning once again, and you see how, how fast you just skyrocketed after letting all this go, like, ah, uh, that's why. Yeah. So every time I know shit's been falling apart or been a little hard, Later on, it comes into like exactly that's why that happened. <clears throat> if I had that, it wouldn't. This wouldn't be able to happen. And it's it's you know it's under coming to understanding too. It's like you know when you lose. We talked about it earlier. When you lose a relationship, you mourn it. And even when you lose a loved one, you mourn it. And it comes in it comes in waves because when you're dealing with 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 grief, you know you grieve people that are living too. Mm -hmm. And you grieve people that have gone and passed away. And it's not an easy thing because it comes in waves. It comes at moments where you never expect it. Or it comes in moments where you're like, dude, I hit this moment in my life and I missed you. And I need you. I need that guidance. I need your words. I need your, I just need your presence. And you know they're never coming. So what do you think hurts more? Grieving a love that you know is still alive? Or some body that passed away? Or do you think they maybe hurt the same just in different ways? Yeah. I think it might hurt the same in different, different ways, ways, but I think that there no there's nothing that really prepares you for grieving a love that is still alive. Yeah. Right. Because that whatever it is is still fully alive, well, yeah. capable of changing things but in in cambio they choose not to yeah. and it's kind of like that's like a different kind of hurt when it's I just like so. i choose yeah. not to be a when, part of you yeah. i choose not They're to deliberately it deliberately yeah, yeah. To hurt respectfully you cuando uno está off. muerto there's nothing you can do about it yeah but when somebody's like alive in the flesh and choosing just to turn the other way yeah. that is like a whole nother roller coaster that it, that i don't yeah cuz on one of them, you have a choice. When grieving people that are alive, people that are, that are passed away. Mm -hmm. One of them, there is a choice. Mm -hmm. You could choose to rekindle and make, make amends. The other one, there's nothing like it because you have no choice. Mm -hmm. You have to be okay and live with the idea that that person is never coming back. It's yeah? N yeah. And never going to be present. You know? You have to figure it out. Holidays are coming. Dia de los Muertos is coming. <clears throat> You're celebrating some of it. You wish you were there. I wish you were there. Mm -hmm. Holidays come in and everybody gathers around. And what's the one thing we all wish for is that one person walking in through that door again. Hoping, you know, in a perfect world, fantasy world, that, yeah, it's going to walk. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We're all good. But knowing. It's never going to happen. That shit ain't coming, bro. You know, so it's like, I got to be okay with the idea. And I think the most hurt. Hurtful idea is now I got to remember you for longer than than I got to know you, and I think that's what that's what sucks. And being able to like, you know, I got to now pass down that knowledge to everybody else, my loved ones, my kids, and be like, man, what you don't, what you didn't know is how great our grandpa was and how great our uncle was, because hey, he they they this this this, this these were our experiences. We did all this, and. Someone that's alive. Someone that's alive. There it is. Alive, there it is. Hey, cuando hay you señales, got it, you got it. cuando hay, cuando <laughs> hay señales, <laughs> cuando hay señales, no, don't, don't neglect them. It is what it is. Answer your loved ones. Yeah. Answer from, your loved ones. What if it was your mom, mom bro? That was crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That is, you just wow. ignored your mom. Hey. You just ignored your mom. Hey, hey so then what do you guys me, say? I'm not what? ignoring my mom, <laughs> uh, my dad, whatever, or my sister or my niece. Those are the three, three people, people that I'm going to answer the phone for no matter what. If your life depended on it and you needed someone, who are you calling? 
Oh, she might as well go now, I mean, jump off the cliff myself because they're not going to pick up. It seems like when I need them to answer the phone, they don't answer the phone. I find my life to. Like I called him earlier today. He didn't answer the phone. You're, you're dead? It's a voicemail. What was this? Who? Voicemail. What was this? Right after. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I need clarification and I called. Well, I, I never got one. It's okay. I never got one. Nah, he called me. I never I called got one. right after. Yeah, I it's didn't like, get hey, no call. Discuss. It's okay. It's all right. Well, but, but okay. obviously it's not you, my boy. <laughs> Look, clearly we're gonna, I'm not going. We're gonna we're gonna end this podcast because yo y Pepe nos tenemos que echar un tiro de una vez. Tenemos que hablar de cosas. Jack Jack might just be collateral damage. She's she's gonna be like, I'll do it for the black. I'll be like this. World star. Let's go. Hey, it's and life as content creators, everything is content. Everything is content. And last, any last words for for your fans, for your people. My dogs were outside, <laughs> baby. Damn. Roof. Roof. Let's go. Let's Where are my dogs at? Roof. 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 Hey, my boy. That's, that was <laughs> perreo. That was loud, huh? We, we came in. We conquered the world one more time. Just like that. We another good conversation. Another Just episode like of A Toast to Life. life. I, I hope this episode healed something of you or it rose awareness in certain topics of your life. Moments of your life that, that you need to put a little bit more of attention to. Yes. I think yes. that's, it does that for me and I hope it does that to others. So please tell people to like, share, subscribe, please. Because they yes. like your voice, not our voice. <laughs> I'm going to start the only fans of Jack, my Jack, voice. Jack, Jack, we love your voice. Please. Oh my God, Jack, Jack has the best voice ever. What can I say? What can I say? I'll start an OnlyFans um, Maybe with voice memos. I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say, do not do it because I tried posting one thing. It was brand friendly. It was brand friendly. Stop. Oh, homie, yeah. I okay. told you. Dan, your, you homie, your homie's I just trying you. to take you out of out of commission, my you boy. You know what, you guys? We're going to talk about the exclusive content right, that we out, are homie. going to work on. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this episode with a friend. A Toast to Life podcast, baby. Try. The most authentic, the most organic podcast out there. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're never talking again on this. Okay. <laughs>